You probably don't recognize the name Mike Madigan, but I'm going to tell you about him anyway. Mike Madigan is the Democratic Speaker of the Illinois House of Representatives. He spent most of his career holding various elected offices in Illinois since 1969. There are a few things that make him stand out amongst the 51 total speakers currently elected in the United States. He is the longest-serving Speaker of the House in United States history, on a state or federal level. He first became Speaker in 1983 and continued to hold that position until 1995. Republicans held the Illinois House from 1995 to 1997. This would be the last time that they would have a majority. Madigan was chosen to be Speaker again in 1997 and continues to remain in that position to this day. Up until 2016, Madigan received full support from the Democratic and Republican parties. This changed when Republicans won the governorship and launched a new attack campaign to win the state legislature. This is a campaign framing Madigan as a crooked and corrupt figure. This is why if you look up Mike Madigan on YouTube, most of it is negative attack ads from Illinois Republicans. These ads mainly focus on how Madigan has stayed in power for so long. It is a fact that Madigan has stayed in power for an extremely long time. So, how does he do it? Since 1983, Illinois has had six governors, more than 200 state senators, and more than 500 state representatives. But for all but two years since then, one man has remained Speaker of the House. Mike Madigan. He is the most powerful politician in the state. Some people call him the King of Illinois. How does one politician stay in power so long? There's a few reasons, so I'll go through them. The first reason is that Illinois is solidly Democrat, so Republicans have only taken the state house for a period of two years since Madigan was initially chosen as Speaker. Unlike the U.S. House of Representatives, the Illinois House does not frequently change control. The second reason is that Madigan's district is also solidly Democrat and re-elects him every time. He has gotten at least 65% in the Democratic primary since 1978. His district is so solidly Democrat that Republicans have stopped running against him in the general election. The final reason is that Madigan is also the chair of the Illinois Democratic Party. This means that he has a large amount of influence over who is running for the Illinois state legislature. Madigan's positions allow him to only direct funds towards candidates that will support him becoming speaker again. Both the governor of Illinois and senior senator of Illinois have called for him to step down from this position. Since there was an election this year, the Illinois House of Representatives has to choose a speaker. Will they choose Madigan again, like they have for every other election? Currently, there are nine House Democrats that said they will not vote for Madigan for a 19th term as Speaker. Democrats are expected to win a 42-46 to 46 supermajority. 60 votes is a majority, so a dozen Democrats could defect from Madigan and he would still win re-election as Speaker. It's a possibility, but not likely, that 13 total Democrats defect by January when the Speaker vote occurs. We'll have to see what happens but that would require four Democrats to switch in around two months. They would also have to make a compromise with the Republicans to actually come together to form 60 votes. Most of those Democrats defected due to a growing scandal between Madigan and ComEd, a northern Illinois energy company. I'm not going to go into great deal about that, but federal prosecutors are investigating it. Madigan is accused of bribing ComEd to give his allies and associates jobs, contracts, and payments. The Democrat governor and both U.S. senators of Illinois have called for Madigan's resignation if the accusations prove to be true. Thanks for watching the video. I will be doing more political history and analysis videos now that the 2020 election is for the most part over. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it and subscribe. And if you did not like the video, make sure to dislike it and unsubscribe.